So Gabe, this, this might get really interesting. When they do come into the shallow waters to spawn, using that, that spotlight or that headlamp, you, you can see the fish very, very clearly. Spearfishing happens like in the spring, uh, like when the water temperature hits a certain temperature, the, the, the fish will come in and, and, and spawn. So traditionally that, that amount of time is what Ojibwe people were, were able to gather as many fish as they could to sustain themselves until, um, until the next harvest came in. When we look at the future, being smart enough to adapt to what's coming next. As humans, we're, we're adaptable people, but if things aren't predictable, then it's hard to adapt. Uh, I think for me as a father uh, of three boys, it's really important to um, have them participate in a, in a tribal harvest, you know, because not only does it uh, provide food for our family, but it also kind of gives them a set of values. Being on the water or being in nature um, connects us to that land. My children never knew their great-grandparents, but they know what it feels like because they're able to do the same things that they did and they're able to taste. Tasting that walleye is the same as every generation.